We all know about engine power, but what is it exactly? Well, power is the work something does divided by the time taken. And work is equal to the force applied times by the distance travelled. Power is also equal to force times velocity, as velocity is equal to distance divided by time. So we know how much power a car needs if we know how fast it's going and the driving force needed to push it along. At constant velocity, the driving force needs to equal the sum of the resistive forces. These include air resistance, which grows exponentially with velocity, rolling resistance, and gravity if the car is driving uphill. But how do we apply the concept of work to an engine? Well, if we plot cylinder pressure by volume, we get a chart like this. And the enclosed area is equal to the work done per cycle. To explain why, let's look at a simplified process with metric units. Finding the chart area by multiplying the pressure with the change in volume gives newtons times by meters. This is once again our equation for work, force times by distance. Engine PV charts are more complex, so we need to use integral calculus to find the enclosed area. Subtracting the work required for compression from the work produced by combustion gives the net output of the engine cycle. Then dividing this area by the time taken for the cycle gives the engine power.